I'm coming on like this today. I ain't even clapping. I ain't even, I ain't even, I ain't even clapping. I probably clap at the end, but I ain't even clapping. But guess what? Rain take is now in full of damn fa- Oh, they said I gotta stop. I gotta work on cursing. Cause, cause my views is starting to. I, I guess when you when your views and stuff go up and get higher, it's like restrictions and stuff that you can't do. And now they tell me I can't curse as much. So I'm gonna try and do the best I can without cursing. But I gotta say, damn it! I'm gonna have to say that one because that's the way that I be feeling every time y'all folks go to talking about this track and field stuff. I be reading these comments. I be, I be, I post a video, right? So I post a video and I start reading comments. I'm like, that's dumb as hell. No, that don't work. No, it, that's not possible. No, it's impossible. No, he can't do that either. Like, what are y'all saying? What are y'all saying? That's why I be like, damn it, I gotta go back on. This is ridiculous. I can't say the S word. I'm working on it, y'all. I'm working on it. Okay, in case you are new, Thank you for subscribing, first of all. Welcome to Ray's Take, all right? What is Ray's Take? Ray's Take is when I give you my analyst opinion on track and field, all right? I hate I had to get all the way in the camera to do that, but sometimes I had to remind people that this is a show. It's a show, people. It's a show I'm doing. Got me, got spit coming out of the side of my mouth and stuff. Ah! Okay. Now that I'm warmed up, I got it out of the way. Let's address the elephant in the room. All right, so yesterday I put up the video, Trayvon, put, put up the video of my take first of his race, and then I put up the actual race, and everybody was like, I know you're going to give the race breakdown. I know you're going to give the race breakdown. And I was like, of course I'm going to give y'all the breakdown. You know I'm going to give y'all the ray down. That's what I call it when I break the race down. It's the ray down. Okay? So check it. I'm sitting back. I'm getting ready to do, do, do the ray tape. And I'm just reading these comments. And I started seeing some of the normal, crazy, asinine stuff that I always see that I'm forcing y'all to stop doing. I'm, I'm literally about to be Skip Bayless, Stephen A., Shannon all on road into one and teach y'all how this thing actually works, okay? I go in the comments. You know what I see? Crazy talk. What's the crazy talk? Oh, he finna go 9-5, nine, 9. Nine. Oh, he sure no go in Tokyo. Oh, man, he 9-6. Oh, he the 1-9. Here's the problem I have with y'all. Okay, here's what I have with y'all. I have each and every last one of y'all. Come next weekend, if Trayvon don't run, we'll just say Ronnie Baker run. And Ronnie Baker runs good, guess what y'all gonna do? <gasps> Hop on the bandwagon. Ronnie gonna win. Ronnie gonna run nine. Ronnie gonna run this. Ronnie gonna do this. Y'all do it every weekend. When Justin opened up, oh man, he look at an old man for all the time. He showed up, Justin going to Tokyo. He's going to, he going to be there. He's going to be there. <sighs> okay. No, no, I'm going to say, let me start it back over. First, you said it was Noah, all right? Man, Noah, when we opened up, man, Noah going to be Justin. He's going to be there, everybody. Noah ended up getting fourth. Man, Justin looked good, man. Look at Justin. He showed up for sure five. Okay, Justin sits down. Here comes. Trayvon, man, Trayvon, he finna win Tokyo, he finna win everything, boy, you see that boy, you see who, who that boy moving, no, Sway, no, no, stop it, stop it, it's April, okay, and what y'all are doing is, you're basing these things off of just spare the moment, not understanding the sport, that's kind of like us delusional Dallas Cowboys fans, every year, like, we're going to the ship, no, we're not, we suck, we're not going to the ship. We accept it. Until we change things in the Cowboy organization, we're not going to another championship. But we are delusional fans, and that is what some of y'all are in track and field, and I am here to help you not be delusional. Okay, Pro Mail will not run anything faster than 979 flat. Unless, unless he changes his mechanics, okay? Trayvon Bromel, Trayvon Bromel would not even beat Ronnie Baker right now. I can assure you that. I don't give a damn if he did put 9-8. If Ronnie was next to him right now, Trayvon Bromel cannot beat Ronnie Baker. And I'm about to prove to y'all how and why. It is literally based off of the way that Trayvon runs and the way that Ronnie Baker runs. Watch this video. I just happen to have a video up for y'all. Hey, I'm out of time. Gotta get me excited. 
Check this out. This is the big man. This is London. London, 2012. I'm going to point out something in this race that's going to prove you by fact. And if you go study what I'm talking about, that Ronnie Baker will, if y'all going to give the yoke, give it to, what the boy name? Hold on, TV. Stop it. If y'all trying to give it to Bromel, I'm here to tell you, if Bromel and Ronnie Baker are next to each other, Ronnie's going to run past him. The exact same way Usain Bolt is about to run past Justin Gatlin in London. Pay close attention. Play it. Wait! 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 Where is Justin Gatlin? And where is Usain Bolt? Somebody's in front. Somebody's behind. Stay with me. Because I know you're watching. And you're wondering what I'm getting at. Stay with me. Bing! This is why I love watching the big man. The big man runs, the big man runs so flawlessly. He just so high, high, high with it. He just runs the way you're supposed to run, not the way you're not supposed to run. Okay, right now at this point, this is how Ronnie Baker runs. Go back and watch his Texas relays. Go watch his cycle. Watch where his foot is landing underneath his hips to make a bicycle motion. It's not just lifting anymore. I'm gonna get to my point, stay with me. All right, play it. This right here, Usain's boat, foot, is landing perfectly underneath his hips. Now, why is that important? Why is that important? I don't know because we work with this thing called physics and applied force that says that if I apply force somewhere, it's going to give it back to me. So if I just apply force underneath my hips slightly, it's going to push me forward every step to make me start rolling this way. Okay. Let's just, let's just, let's just see what happens because he was behind. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at, look at this tightness that Usain Bolt has versus all that openness that Justin Gatlin has. Stay with me. Stay with me now. I love doing this. Again. Look. Look. Again. Look. Look. What I'm trying to get y'all to understand is this right here. Trayvon Bromel runs the exact same way as Justin Gatlin. Which is when they get up, it's in front. It's in front. They, they, they hitting it. They hitting it. They, the feet are landing right here in front. But their feet aren't coming up to their butt. What Usain Bolt is doing is called riding a bicycle. His foot is coming so high up to his butt to where when he drops his hammer down, that applied force is going right back through his hips, which allows him to do this, to roll right past people. All you got to do is watch it. Watch it. There it is again. You know how that happens? It's called a power triangle. That power triangle happens because his foot is coming up to his butt and he's putting it back down, okay? He's not going way out here like Gat is doing. His foot is right here. He's doing a cycle. He's doing a cycle motion. So the same thing that happened with Michael Johnson when he went 19-3. Go watch that video. Go watch his running motion when we used to be like, man, that ain't, what's this rocking chair stuff? It's called applied physics. It's not a damn rocking chair. It's how you supposed to run. Shoot! Please the video. But he was behind. Okay? He was behind. Now, I know you want me to get to the point of where, okay, Ray, well, make it all make sense to us with Trayvon Bromel. Before I do that, before I show you that video, I'm going to show you one more video. Hold on. Stay with me. Watch the back of my shirt because it's a cool shirt I wore today. We still gonna go right to it. I can't play that one because they won't let me play it. So I gotta find my video without an Olympics in it uh, so that they won't take it down. So we gonna search boat real. Let's do that. Let's do that. That's the one I want y'all to see. That's the one I want y'all to see because you're gonna really see what I'm trying to explain before I show you what the one name mean? Trayvon video. Let's get it. Boy, I'm getting hot in here today. Woo! It's a good day.
Can't play that one. Can't play that one. Can't play that one. Can't play that one. We can play this one. Exotic HD, thank you for the post. Play it. Got to talk on it. Amazing family vacation. I'm not got time for all this. Play the video. Here's what I want y'all to really pay attention to in this video. Pay attention to Justin Gatlin's start, okay? Watch Gatlin's start. And then think about Bromel's start from Oregon. Think about his start that he just did this weekend. And I want you to watch what Justin Gatlin does right now in this race. This by far is one of the most explosive. Just watch it. Watch that. Fast forward. We won't see all that. Fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. Hi ya! This one won't get you right here. Let's play it. Watch this start. Watch it. Look at the gap that Gat has put on both. In this video, Gat gone, gone. He gone, 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 gone. Boat way back here. Gatlin's in front. Oh, wow. Whoa, uh -oh, uh oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Is that that same power triangle stuff I was talking about that makes him roll this way? Oh, damn. Is this, is this the guy who I picked to win gold this year right next to him doing the exact same running mechanics? Which is the same running mechanics he did at USC, which is why he had a horrible start but could come run everybody down because of the cycle action. Well, we'll just keep it going though. Play it. How did that happen? How did that happen? How did get? How did Justin Gallon get caught? Not only did he get caught, not only did he get caught, he got caught and ran past. Caught and ran past, and once again, here he is bumping his chest. Why? Because he understands running mechanics. Bo understands that when I'm up and running, my foot does a certain thing. My hands do a certain thing. My arms do a certain thing. Nobody else on this line, except for him, he kind of did it, does what he does. Only one person I've seen in America that does it. And that's Ronnie Baker. You go back and watch his Texas relays. Watch what happens when Ronnie stands up. Ronnie gets out here. But when he stands up, he turns into this. That rolling cycle will allow you to run past people who are only lifting. Why? Boat do it every time. He do it every time. He do it every time. He literally does it every time. And everybody's like... Boat ain't get a good start. It don't matter if they get a good start. Why? Because the minute he stands up, he knows how to switch gears. I'm going to explain to you this way. Some of y'all might follow boxing. Some of you might not. And we'll get into the Trayvon video as soon as I get through it. I told it might be a long one today. When you are boxing, okay, you boxing. Pay out, back up. Pay out, back up. That's kind of that, that's, that's kind of that's kind of jab, okay? That's a jab, right? Okay, pay out, back up. That, oh, that's called a straight, right? Okay, that's two different, two different movements that you had to do in order to fight. Jab, uh, straight. Jab, straight. Okay. Jab, straight. Hook. All right. So here's what I'm trying to explain to y'all. The hundred meter dash, if you run it properly, works the exact same way. You have to know how to change your body positioning, not just come out of a drive phase. No, it's more than come out of a drive phase. You got to know how to keep your feet in front. You got you to know when to do low heel recovery. You got to know when to bring your feet up. You got to know when to change your arm mechanics. You got to know when to bring your foot to your butt to create a cycle. It's not just get out of the blocks, keep everything here. That's why Bolt was unbeatable. He un his whole camp understood that. You got to break this thing down and use science. It's not just dry fade, dry fade, look, 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 keep living, keep living, keep living. No, no, why? Because he's proven that shit don't work. You can lift all day. I'm finna run past you. Why? Because I'm doing a cycle motion. I'm going here. I'm going here. I'm going here. Okay. My rubber control. Now let's get to what I want to show y'all. I wish they would let me show the one that I want to show y'all. Y'all can really see it.
but I can't play it because I played a video that really shows how good Justin got out. They're going to flag my video because it belongs to the Olympics. But just trust me on it. Trust me on it. Now, here's what we're going to do. Paya, go to my channel. Where is the Rockstar Trainer channel at? Because I'm going to have to show these folks just what the hell it is I'm talking about. I'm going to have to show these folks. Where's the history at? I don't have the history of that video. But I got a lot of videos of me up. So if I just do this right here, what I say? Actually, what I say? Don't worry about what you say. Don't worry what you say. I know what you said. Say but don't worry what you say. I know what you said. Okay, now we are gonna take a look at this video that got forty-five thousand views. I appreciate y'all for that. I really do. I did not expect that to happen. I did not. Woo, forty-five thousand views. I appreciate y'all for that. I appreciate everybody that watched this video. I appreciate everybody that watched all my videos. Shout out to all of my new subscribers. Now let's get to the point so I can show y'all. Watch yeah. Trayvon. Oh, front. That's the same thing that GAT does, okay? Same technique. It works. It's effective. That's why they're able to jump out. I'm going to get to why everybody is saying, and he didn't even have a good start. It's not that he didn't have a good start. He's racing regular, fast, 100-meter people. Oregon didn't have those people in there that he knew. And also, it's his whole training group. His whole training group at they practice track. It don't matter. They all know each other. So the race is going to be different. He ain't going to just hop out on them like that. Why? Because they know what he can do. So in their mind, they already know. Trayvon finna hop out. We finna have to get him past 30. That's what training partners do. That's why the other two was in front of him. Another story, though. Keep it going. Take your thing off. I want y'all to pay attention to one thing, and I'm gonna shut it off after this. Pay attention to one thing. His foot and his knee. That foot is traveling behind his body. Usain's boat, Usain boat, foot, knee, go pause it, see what it look like. I can guarantee you it's not gonna be pointing downward and foot upward. I can guarantee you it's going to look like he's an ostrich. That foot is going to be hid right here. Okay? The reason why I'm stressing this to y'all is because I want you to understand that right there will never hit 9697. It can't. Well, let me say it right. 97, yes, because Mo did it, you know. But that ain't going to get you 96. It's not going to get you 95. It's not going to get you to beat people like Ronnie Baker. Trust me, it's not. Why? Because they know how to start just like you. Guess what else, though? They also know how to turn it into a cycle. This isn't a cycle. I'm losing a lot of y'all, but don't worry about it. Just trust me. Again, look how high up his foot is flipping. Now, if he was running what we call proper mechanics, if he was running the same way Bolt does, the same way Ronnie does, to stand up and cycle and turn over, his foot, when one is on the ground, should be hid behind the other one because it's tucked so tight. Let's just see. Let's just back it up a little bit. Let's just see. We're just going to get to a point in the video and see what happens. I'm going to get a bit of this out and stop it somewhere Google. Look how far behind it is. That ain't what Bolt looked like. That's not. That ain't what Bolt looked like. It's not. Pause it again. That ain't what Boat looked like. It's not. It's not. Pause it again. It's not. That looked just like Maurice, Gat, everybody else. Now look. It's back here. You're not going to beat a Ronnie Baker who knows how to cycle with just front side mechanics. Here's what I also will say. Trayvon Bromille is probably the only person that outside of Christian Coleman has the ability to actually go 9-6, go 9-5. Why? Because they've learned how to get out of there. Once they learn how to go and transition their hips and turn it into a running cycle the same way Bolt does, what you will see is how Bolt does this and goes past people. 
they will start to do that and pull away from people. These people would not be in the race with Usain Bolt. If Bolt is getting this type of start, he's gone now. It's going to cycle. They can't even keep up. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to explain to everybody. Like, why I'm not, ex I'm not excited about the 9-8. I'm not excited because I study mechanics too much. I'm like, mm -mm, I can see errors. I can see flaws. I can see things that most people can't see. That's why I be in the comments like, no, he's not going to do it. Here's why. It ain't because I'm a hater. It ain't because I don't think he can. It's simply because I understand how the body works. It's all it is. He's not going to be able to do it unless he learns to change his running style after he's up and running. He learns that. You might even go 949. He might even get 949, 950 out of that. But it ain't going to happen until he understands what damn near every Jamaican understands that we don't get over here in America. For some reason, we still being taught like it's 1965 and we racing with, with Bob Hayes or somebody. Them damn styles of running is over with, Jack. How many times have you seen both showed us, Jack? That ain't it. You got to change some shit up. You keep got them jabbing, and here they come uh, jab, jab straight. What you gonna do about that? Nothing. You gotta stop jabbing. You gotta stop jabbing. You got to stop jabbing. You gotta stop jabbing. At the end of the day, you gotta stop jabbing. I don't know why I keep saying you gotta stop jabbing, but it just sounds good to say it. You gotta stop jabbing. You gotta stop jabbing. Whoo, I'm on one today, buddy. I'm on one today. These angles are not the angles that are going to allow you to run 9-6. Now, get rid of that. To sum up this whole video, basically, because y'all frustrated me once again. Y'all frustrated me. Stop getting so excited that the minute somebody runs fast, you automatically put them on a damn podium. You automatically put them on a podium, and you automatically say the dude who behind ain't going to be able to do it when it comes time. This is the grass. Y'all are already writing him off right now in April. Oh, he ain't going to be ready? Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure y'all understand this. Ain't this the same the grass that in Rio opened up with like 10 to uh, in London and all that and still meddled? I'm confused. I might be wrong. Check me. Check me. I might be wrong. But I could have sworn he got a medal. But anyway, anyway, what y'all are doing is y'all are looking at preseason football. You're looking at preseason football saying... My team gonna win the whole Super Bowl, bro. No, bro, it's it's preseason. How you gonna call that right now? You don't, it's preseason. You can predict and say what you think based off of right now, but you can't really say your team gonna be the Super Bowl. You can't say that he gonna win Tokyo on May first. It's you cannot. You can say I predict that he gonna do this. I predict, but I don't really know. And then it's like somebody said in one of my comments. Well, look at you now. You eating your words, ain't you? You knew what you said last week. Well, no. I can't say the S word. No crap, Sherlock. That's how it's supposed to work. That's what makes it sports. You're not supposed to be. I should not have to be able to come on here every week and say, told you so. Told you so. Told you so. Told you so. I should be coming on here every week like, I got to change it up now. They ain't doing the same thing. So here's my picks now. I'm supposed to be eating my words. Why? Because I'm analyzing what these people are doing. And if it get to them and they hear it, it's basically me saying, you got some more work to do before I can grant you to be the best. I am not giving anybody a title until we get to Tokyo. If we ain't in Tokyo, I don't want to hear nothing about it. It's race tight. And what Ray say on Ray's take is what Ray feel and how Ray wanted to go. So right now, what I'm saying is, my predictions have changed. Doggone it. At the end of the day, Tokyo. If Tokyo is tomorrow, that's how you gotta do it, people. You can't just be. You can't just be talking about. When I give these predictions, I'm giving them based off of if it was tomorrow. I can't predict that from four months away from now. Nobody can predict that. If Tokyo was tomorrow, I'm going the grass. No. Get no. Noah, hell no. 
I'm going Ronnie Baker for gold. I'm sticking to the kid from, I don't know his name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. He dropped the 9-9 nine, nine at Texas Relays. He won NC. I can't think of his name. He's still getting second. I'm still keeping him at second. And I'm now slowly moving Trayvon up to possibly third and a half. I, I still don't have him on. I still don't have him on the podium yet. Okay? And I have my reasons. If you've been watching my show, you should know my reasons. As of right now, I'm not impressed yet. He's getting there, but I'm not impressed. He's still out of my Tokyo 3. If Tokyo was tomorrow, no, I don't care what y'all say. I, I hear you. You call me crazy. No. If Tokyo was tomorrow, no. I really know and feel running Simone, college kid, their up and running style, he is better than he is. That's just my take. You ain't got to like it. You ain't got to love it. I don't really care. Actually, I do care. That's why I do this, because I care about y'all, and I want to know what y'all think too. But here it is. After watching that video over and over again, my breakdown is still the same. Trayvon Bromel in USA, is if he keep going this fast, he can possibly give y'all a 979. 980. But if Trayvon Bromel gives you a 979, 980, I'm saying Ronnie Baker is going to give you a 75, 76. And I'm saying with some extra poo-poo in the game, if Tyson Gay is even close to the old Tyson Gay, he going to go 980. I'm still not impressed. That don't mean I'm hating. I just ain't impressed yet. So go impress me, damn it. Oh, I love hate this show.